Hey everybody, Tom Bullington again here with Hastings Happenings and in, in Motion Realty. I want to give you the Hastings City update. I'm not affiliated with the City of Hastings, but I do get this outstanding newsletter every week and they have a lot of good information. So I thought I would share it with folks that maybe haven't read it yet or don't get this information. You can sign up for this newsletter on the Hastings City website at hastingsmn.gov and you can receive it in your email box every week. It's kind of cool. City Council approved the annexation of land on March 20th for the future Walden at Hastings development. The approval extends the city limits to include a 71 acre parcel. And that's out at Highway 316 and Michael Avenue. Uh, developer land equity development is going to now come back now that this is officially part of the city of Hastings. It was annexed. Developer is going to come back and seek future approval to construct a lifestyle development rental community. This will be 450 housing units comprised of single family, twin home, town home, and senior living and apartments. So this is not happening right away. This is not, there's not gonna be sh shovels in the ground anytime soon, uh, but the city will be looking into this. Future actions by the city are gonna have public hearing notices go out. So if you live nearby, you'll be notified of this. So don't worry. Uh, as always, monitor the project on HastingsMN.gov, and they should have a lot of information for you if you're curious. Uh, if you're a nerd like me, looking at the stuff every week, yep, it's, it's there for you. Um, as you know, cannabis in some forms and hemp are legal in Minnesota now. Uh, there's edibles and there's all sorts of stuff that is legal. Recreational use of marijuana as far as smoking is not legal yet in Minnesota. Looks like the legislature is gonna pass that, but just, just a friendly reminder, it's not legal yet. <laughs> um, but kind of as these things are developing, the city council took steps forward, regulating cannabis and hemp in Hastings while it awaits further direction from the state of Minnesota, which would be the legalization of recreational marijuana. Right now, medical marijuana, as well as um, some of the edibles and things like that, drinks, those are legal. We're the only state in the union where you can't smoke it, but you can eat it and drink it, I guess, just very basically. Um, at its March 20th meeting, the city council adopted two ordinances for the zoning and licensing related to uses, sales, and operations of cannabis and hemp businesses. Uh, they also discussed the first reading of a licensing fee structure. Second reading of that, when it's going to be approved, will be April 3rd. You can read through the whole council packet, uh, information, details, and the report, the same report that the city council members get in your um, council packet memos on the city website, hastingsmn.gov. So a lot of information. If you have any concerns, questions, things like that, I would definitely contact your council member and he or she would be able to help you out with any questions you might have. If you haven't noticed, we have a spate, a regular spate of new restaurants opening in Hastings. This is kind of cool. Uh, we have three that have opened relatively recently. Uh, the Bimmy Thai restaurant, which is the old Coliseum building, 1840 Vermilion Street. We have Rooster, the much long awaited rooster restaurant uh, in the Westview Center at 1355 South Frontage Road. Delicious chicken from what I've heard. And then also the Quarry Tap House, 106 Second Street East. That is the former Fireside uh, building that has all sorts of great food and a place I understand where you can throw rocks at targets owned by the same people. Where else in Hastings can you throw rocks inside and not get in trouble from mom and dad. The Quarry Tap House, uh, 106 2nd Street East, here in beautiful downtown Hastings. So check those out. Welcome to all three of these great new restaurants. And I think more are coming from what I've heard. Um, if you are interested in nutrition and getting some delicious shakes, energy drinks, boba teas, and more, check out Hastings Raider Nutrition. It is down to 103 Sibley Street. And the chamber actually recently held a ribbon cutting ceremony there. Uh, so head on down to 103 Sibley Street and you can get a delicious shake, energy drink or boba tea. They're all nutritious and delicious as well. As you may remember, 
there was a, uh, a large meeting held at City Hall a few weeks back, March 7th, a uh, public meeting with feedback regarding Highway 61 recommendations. The uh, state, the uh, State Department of Transportation, MnDOT, also known as, um, was there and took a lot of feedback from people. Uh, recommendations are still being taken online through March 31st. You can go, you can connect to that through the Hastings City website, hastingsmn.gov. Uh, there is a vision web page that shows the whole layout of everything from approximately 4th Street all the way down to like 36th Street. So like the, where the Ford dealership is all the way down to where City Hall is. That whole stretch of Highway 61. Uh, timeline for that is 2027. So we got four years, but things are moving along. And if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, please get online and contribute those through March 31st. Saturday, April 1st, the Athletic Gear Swap. That's easy to say. Athletic Gear Swap at City Hall in the community room, 101 4th Street East. That's City Hall, the big dome building downtown you might have seen from noon to two. And if you have gently used and clean athletic gear you no longer want, bring your items to City Hall on April 1st. No fooling. If you have questions, call Violet at 612-268-9097. Also in April, continuing a theme here of spring, Arbor Day, Friday, April 28th from 1.30 to 2.30 at Gretton Park, 636th Street. Volunteer with the Hastings Parks and Recreation Department and plant a tree in celebration of Arbor, Arbor Day. Our city forester will provide a demonstration prior to planting. I'm assuming how to plant a tree. Uh, volunteer registration, you can call Paige at 651-480-6182. Here's what to bring, work gloves, pointed shovel, or garden rake. And it's sponsored by the good people at the Dakota County Electric Association, as well as Hoffman and McNamara. So thank you to those great people. And then to finish things off, we've got a paper shred event, which is a lot of fun, fun for the kids. Saturday, May 30th from nine to noon at the Public Works Building at 1225 Progress Drive. So you can make some progress and shred your documents um, there will be a certified mobile shredding truck from Shred and Go. Please no documents from a business. Also, if you have questions on that, Violet will take your call at 612-268-9097. Really quickly, the police department, our, our good friends in blue, Sound the Siren Food for Kids Food Drive, April, 20, er, April 17th through the 28th. Police Week begins May 16th. There's an open house at the police department. The council authorized participation in the National Opioids Settlement, which is good. If you have any questions, please go on the city website. Lots of information, lots of stuff going on this week and in the coming weeks.